Happening right now, Tempe City officials are meeting on whether or not to move forward with the plans for a new Coyotes hockey arena. The proposed $1.7 billion project would also include apartments and restaurants and would be built at Rio Salado and Priest near Tempe Town Lake. This is far from a done deal. However, there are questions about the Coyotes' financial liabil uh, viability. There's also threats of a lawsuit from Phoenix over disruptions to the flight paths out at Sky Harbor. Team 12's Lena Washington is live at that meeting for us this afternoon. Lena. Good evening, Mark and Caribe. We are entering hour three here at Tempe City Council. We've entered the public comment period and there are over 70 live speakers and over 200 comment cards to get through tonight. We've heard from former Coyotes players, members of the front office and current Coyotes players, along with NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman, who endorses this move for the Coyotes. But we've also heard opposition from representatives from Phoenix Sky Harbor, aviation officials and residences in Tempe who are concerned about the level of noise and the flight path impacting them with this new development. Take a listen to some of what we heard earlier today during this meeting. But having the ability to come the heart of the city with a, a development of what they've talked about that is world class and transformative, I think is a word we've used over and over again. <laughs> it's, it's something that's so, I think it's the next level. For me, the city, it's going to help, but for a hockey team. I mean, I'm up here because I'm a hockey player. There's really not any other reason for me to be up here as a, as a hockey player here in the town. And I think Arizona is important to the NHL and we want to stay here. So I hope you guys vote yes to st start negotiations for this project. However, there are elements of this uh, Tempe's RFP that was issued in the subsequent proposal that if left unresolved could result in significant impacts to Sky Harbor's ability to continue to grow and support the community that we serve. And officials with the Coyotes say this would create more than 6,900 jobs and would generate more than $200 million of revenue over 30 years here in Tempe. The Coyotes will also sign a non-relocation agreement for 30 years to guarantee their stay here in Tempe. But we are far from over here at City Council as we continue to hear if City Council will move forward in negotiations as we continue with the public comment period this evening. Live in Tempe, I'm Lena Washington, 12 Sports. All right, Lena, thank you.